Hey everyone! So that's the trailer of my new book and um, it's a tale about divine time and how divine time transpires in our earthly lives. So every time a Torah reader will say, you'll get what you want in divine timing and you wonder what does that really mean, yeah? So if you're interested to know more, if you're interested to read this book, um, get a copy and it is now available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. The link to Amazon is in the description box below, okay? And don't forget to check out the link and as well as share it with your friends, okay? Uh, for more uh, book launch updates, you can follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior, as well as my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Okay? Uh, don't forget to get a copy after this reading and let me know your feedback on Amazon reviews too. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's start your reading. Hi Virgo. This is uh, a reading regarding your person and their current feelings towards you. Let's see what do we have here. What can we get for Virgo? I'll probably be doing this for um, the next few weeks regarding their current feelings towards you for all signs, yeah? To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So Virgo, Virgo's person, their current feelings towards Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Eight of <laughs> Double Eights. I see that as money. <laughs> Alright, or blessings. Okay. Luck. Eight of um, Pentacles. Okay. Two of Cups. The Hierophant. Seven of Wands. The Empress. Can you still see that? Okay. Page of Swords. Um, six of Cups. Five of Cups. Okay. We have uh, Ten of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Okay. Wow. The Ace of Wands. It's lovely. Let me see if I need to clarify other things here. Okay, one more. The High Priestess. I need more for that. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's put it here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance. All right, Virgo, I feel like this person right now, I think this is someone who's learning some lessons in life, learning from the relationship they had with you or from the togetherness they had with you. Yeah. With this learnings, I could see I could see them possibly uh you know, realizing they did you some wrong and now they are regretting it now they want to make things right uh, for some it's most mostly like they found themselves at a wrong stance yeah and it's likely because you have stepped away or it's likely because you are not um you know if you were investing a lot or if you were pushing them or if you were advancing yeah, trying to advance the situation with them, I feel like you probably have stopped doing that. Yeah, you probably have let things be. If they come around, they will come around. If not, so be it. But Virgo is just focusing on doing their life on their own. You know, trying to be more harmonious, trying to be more peaceful, living a more peaceful life. So I feel like you may have stopped um, giving so much in a situation. This is a situation where both of you may have started to uh, like fall in love with one another. For some, 
this could have been a partnership, a um, a person that at some point in time you felt like this could be the one. Yeah. That something has gone wrong here and I see that this person has realized it and they're kind of learning that lesson right now especially if you haven't uh, you're not talking right now I feel there's well you could be talking but it's more about you know check the weather <laughs> there's nothing there's no talk relating to emotional bonding it's more about I don't know current events what's happening How's your work? How's your job? Yada, yada, yada. That's done. So there's not much emotional engagement. This person can feel that. Um, and somehow, because of your detachment, um, because of your stance right now, where you might be healing as well, Virgo, I'm seeing that you may have been hurt in this situation too, or something is telling me that you're healing you're just doing you yeah and this person is feeling as though they wronged you and that they don't really know how else can they get through you yeah if you must know though the reason why this person is pretty i feel that this person is quite restless right now and even if they're not reaching out to you definitely they are they're trying to trace you or checking you whether it is online or through friends or for some this is someone who would give you a call asking about how's your day and all that even without emotional bonding but it is their way of checking your temperature yeah why are they doing that primarily because i feel like this person knows that with you there is that uh, with you they can build a life together with you there is that uh, possibility that their life could be more expansive, their life could be more successful, yeah? It's not that they want to use you, but they can see that being with you is a life that is fruitful, the life that is that can be meaningful, right? You're not just a casual encounter. Yeah. And they can see that they can grow more and be a better person and all that, you know? Like, that sense that if they are with you, their life is better. Possibly this is a realization they had pretty recently, right? And now, since you are kind of chilled, cool off, um, they just don't know what they could do or what they can say, what they can tell you to bring you back into that state of being loving, being giving, um, being more for them. Make sense? Now this person misses you a lot. Yeah, They miss the times when you were in it to win it. They miss the times when you were giving more. Yeah. In the past, Virgo, you may have given a lot and it was not reciprocated. You may felt like you were giving more, right? They were not um, very uh, appreciative of those um, efforts that you've provided. Now that you have pulled that out, this person is missing those. Yeah, they're missing those. And um, the way I see it here is they feel that you are doing you now, that you are good on your own. You're not even needing them anymore. But little do they know yeah, that Virgo, even if you are doing on your own right now, I could see here, Virgo, that you are... You are just not speaking everything, you know, or you're not expressing how you feel. But deep inside, I feel like you are disappointed for how things have turned out Yeah, in this connection. Because you were giving more, and then you were not getting the reciprocation that you need, or that you wanted. right? So you were actually not regretful even, just disappointed, yeah? frustrated that things did not really work out. If, if someone, if you put an effort into something, of course, you want that to be successful, right? If you work on a relationship, you want to get a relationship at the end. But apparently in this situation, you were dealing with someone who was probably not ready back then, right? Or who was not ready to appreciate what you can give. So it's not you, it's them. And I feel like maybe you have realized that now. 
that it's not you, it's them, and that's why you are moving on in terms of just putting the efforts into yourself rather than to someone who cannot appreciate you as much. But deep inside, I feel that you are disappointed about how things have turned out. And this person don't know that. This person knows or can see that you are doing well. Yeah, This person can see that you are probably having more opportunities in life right now, whether it be financially, whether it be in your career. It feels like things are going well for you. Now, back to love. I feel like, back to this connection, I feel like um, this person would continue to be around you. Yeah? And they would always be alert in terms of when can they get in, when can they when they when can they get through you once again because now as of the moment yeah their current feelings is that they still want you but they just don't know how to maybe make amends or to bring back the 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 energy that you had back then for them right so they would always be kind of I see a bit of defensive stance because not everybody is always willing to accept their faults. But at the same time, they will stay around you just to kind of feel your temperature every now and then. Yeah. And see maybe things, you know, there could be some more revelations along the way that could give them some idea yeah, on how to actually get through you. And why is that this person knows that you probably are done and over with with them? Yeah, and they feel like all the drama, especially if you're doing you right now, this person feels like you have forgotten the past, the, 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 the things that they have done. So you're probably just done with it, right? This person feels that the drama is way back in the past already and they're not, you know, as of the moment, they just hope that, well, for some who are still holding on to the bitterness, uh, holding on to some bitterness of the past, right? This is a person who hopes to kind of let go of that cycle. And they just want to be able to start something new with you. And it's with you, Virgo. It's not with someone else. I feel like this person wants another, another chance, right? The way I see it here is, like I said, they will continue to be in your vicinity, around you. And they would want, if they are given the chance, another chance, they would want to put their focus into it. Because now they know, yeah, this is something that they want. This is something that they want to work for. The relationship or the connection with you is something that they want to work for. All right. They're not telling you right now, but definitely they want something new with you, another chance. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also, I'd like to invite you to check out my book, um, Divine Time, uh, currently available in Amazon. The link is in the description box below. You can get this in paperback or Kindle version. You can also go to Amazon and search my name, one word, Nomad Soul Warrior, and um, you know, type in Divine Time, this would come out. If you want to know more about what Divine Timing means in our day-to-day -day life, I have depicted it in this mystical tale. And also, um, I know that some of you would want to know more about how to learn intuitive reading for tarot. This book, I have designed and written it in line with a fool's journey, yeah, as that, um, in, in line with a fool's journey through the Taurus Major Arcanas. So, you have your instruction books from everywhere, and if you read this, you will have more insights in terms of what those um, Major Arcanas uh, actually energy means, yeah, in each of the steps. Okay, so I'd... I invite you to check out that book and um, I do appreciate your support. Be well.